What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be getting fish for the 200 gallon aquarium. I know we got some fish recently, but I wanna get more because this is a massive aquarium and they're tiny fish. So we're gonna head to the aquarium shop. But before we do that, I wanna show you the tank. Here is my 200 gallon saltwater aquarium. We gotta get some water. So while we're there, we're gonna pick up some water. But as you can see, it looks like nothing's in here. We have about seven fish in there. We got, I just added Dory to this aquarium. And she's hiding right now because she's a little scared. I took her out of the pool pond, put her in here because she was getting picked on. So it is a 15 year old fish, so we don't know. She could just be dying off of old age. I'm not sure, but I mean, she swims around when I put food in there, but right now she's just not looking too good. But I wish her the best. She is an old fish and it could just be old age. All our fish are doing great. And yeah, we gotta get some more because like I said, it looks empty. So let's head to the aquarium shop and get some more fish. We are now at the aquarium shop and we're gonna head in and get some new fish for our 200 gallon and see what they got in there. First thing we see when we walk in the aquarium shop is this beautiful like cube tank. And in here we got some coral, we got Royal Grama. Royal Grama, such a pretty fish. Yeah, the purple and yellow one. Royal Grama, such a pretty fish. Then over here is a huge selection of corals, all different types of corals. And I'm not too informed on corals. I don't know too much about them, but I have a couple buddies that know a lot about them. We even got some fish in there. And the fish, I know one thing, you have to have fish with them because that actually helps nutrients the coral. Now these corals are really really cool and pretty but they also are very hard to take care of you got to know a lot about salt water and what you're doing when it comes to these guys and then over here is Andy's show tank so in here he has some lion fish we got a little grouper in here hiding in the rocks like a grouper does and then look at this lion fish look how pretty this grouper is insane and then we got another lion fish much bigger one over here but yeah that's such a cool tank i love the design of it i like how the rocks are set up and i just love the like shape of the tank it looks sick i remember i told you guys a while back that if we got 5,000 likes on a video i would come and get an eel from here and they actually have the exact eel i don't know i'm deciding if i should take him home today and put him in the pool pond but we're gonna look around in the meantime and see what else I got here at the aquarium shop. So over there across the tank is a little cherry shrimp. You can see them running around. And then we got these little cleaner shrimp over here, which are also very, very cool. Looks like we got some little clownfish and let's get some close up on them. We even got these little goby things. They actually go in the fish's mouth and cleans it out and everything. Gets, all, gets rid of the parasites. Now below one of those guys is a little baby Blue tang, so, so cute. So I actually just talked to Andy and he said that they're gonna get a shipment of brand new fish in Thursday. So I think if you guys wanna see us come back and get a whole bunch of fish for the 200 gallon, because I know there's not that many, get this video to 5,000 likes and we'll come back and we'll stock that whole tank to some pretty fish. But in the meantime, we're just looking around right now and we're probably gonna end up coming home with something big today, something a surprise. Over here is looks to be an some sort of angelfish, very, very pretty fish. I mean, the colors on that thing are beautiful. Look at the colors on these things. I mean, these, these are really easy to take care of. So if you're new in the saltwater aquarium industry and you want to get a fish, this is definitely a fish I recommend getting. Very easy to take care of, not expensive. Then over here was one of my favorite fish, a harlequin tusk. Very, very pretty. If you look closely, they have a bigger one over here. Let me see, let me find them. They have teeth, they have blue teeth in the front of them. I mean, this is, so that was a baby I just showed you, and this is a bigger one. Then we have a beautiful queen angel. So pretty. Look at that. Would you think that's a leaf or a fish? Because if I saw that in the wild, I would think it's a leaf. But nope, that's a fish. And we got some pretty fish over here. Oh, one of my favorites. Orlando just po pointed this out. We have a saltwater beta. Now look at the colors on that fish. So pretty. What else we got? Oh, we got a little puffer fish. So cute. Well, puffer fish are definitely one of my favorite fish just because of how much personality they have. They're awesome. Then we got a flame angel below him. And that's what I was saying, guys. The colors on these fish are crazy. Here's another pretty fish. I'm guessing this is some sort of angel. I think it's a six bar angel. And he's just looking at me right now. 
see if you can turn so we yep that's a six bar angel as you can see why they call them six bar angels and then we have a baby emperor angel so actually a cool fact is i actually said that wrong i know i called this a queen angel or something so that's actually an emperor and angel man that's a big version of this. So they actually change completely different colors and different patterns when they get bigger. This is a baby one of those guys back there. The mages went on a rock. Gosh, you, you guys aren't working with me today, huh? But that's a baby one of these. Now, I'm guessing this is some sort of goby, but I mean, look at the colors on that thing. What the? Wow, that is pretty. I mean, notice this little fish over here. I'm not exactly sure what kind, but I just noticed the colors on it, and it's so pretty. All right, now we're over to the invertebrates. And guys, this is kind of like a tour, but slash from buying something. We're gonna buy something, I promise you, at the end of this, I promise you we're gonna buy something cool. I will not let you guys down. But like I said, here is a little cherry cleaner shrimp, and it looks like he's cleaning right now, actually little baby baby sea urchin that's one of the smallest ones i've ever seen in my life it's literally the size of my tip of my finger so orlando actually just asked what that is yes, and that is a sea anemone there's actually different species of them we got one over here if you look really closely there's actually a clownfish inside one of them which is very very cool that's awesome you don't get to see that every day it's a clownfish chilling in one yo what's this right here that is another sea anemone that's just a massive one and if you look closely at the bottom there's a clownfish and these are homes for clownfish if you look really closely in there there is a clownfish look at him digging through there and now other fish to other fish these things will shock them it will kind of give them like a little zap so but poisonous. but not to clownfish and that's why clownfish uses use them as homes now back over to the tessalata eel these things get huge very big if you guys don't remember andy used to have one a massive one in this tank but now he has some smaller ones so this guy's about i would say a foot long we're gonna get him for the pool pond today so i told you guys i wouldn't let you down we're getting him a test a lot of eel for our pool pond and also i gotta give you guys some updates on the pool pond we just got some awesome stuff for it so when we get back to the house i'll update you guys all on that all right Orlando, you ready to bring this bad boy home yes sir this thing is sick can you see him? Oh yeah, he's gonna be, dude, he's gonna get big. This is gonna be so sick. Look at him swimming all, oh, oh. Let's head home and put him in the pond. And we are here at the pool pond. We got Lando with the eel. How are, how are you liking the eel, Orlando? You know what, uh, honestly, this thing's pretty cool. It's got a lot of colors on it. Um, honestly, it's a uh, very, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we have two eels in here right now, and then I want to give you guys, I'm going to give you an update on the saltwater stuff I have at my house, because I saw a lot of comments saying, where's this, where's that, so I'm going to explain to you guys where everything is, and yeah, so let's acclimate this guy before we do anything, we're going to put him in this bucket, we're going to put that water in here, and then we got a drip acclimation line coming from this pond, and slowly adding water into this bucket. He's in here. Wow, look at that thing. Make sure your hands are wet so you don't take off any slime coat. You do not want to get bit by these guys. Oh, whoa. So pretty. <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. Look at him, his head is coming out of the water. All right, let's get a drip off make some line going. And then you'll see it's slowly dripping water into there. So we'll give that about 15 minutes, let it fill up halfway, and then add our eel into his new home. Drop some names down below. We need a name for the for our new Tesla eel. So drop some names down below. And I also wanted to give you guys, like I said, an update on everything that's going on. So I just ordered a bunch of stuff for the pool pond. I ordered sand. I ordered flow makers. I ordered a new pump. I ordered a new filter. I even ordered a new pool pond because it's going to be a little bigger. We're going to deck this thing out, make it a legit pond, make it to where the fish feel more comfortable to come out. Because I've noticed, and I saw some comments saying, "Oh, the fish aren't coming out. We can't see them." So I'm going to try to mimic a natural environment to where they do not feel scared to where they come out a lot. And right here is one of the flow makers. We actually already installed one right here, as you can see. It's pushing all that stuff, all the poop. As you can see, this whole spot right here is clear. So we're gonna put another one in this corner, pushing the stuff to the pump that way. And there's this thing is pushing out some crazy flow. All right, so these are magnetic. These are actually pretty pricey flow makers. They're powerful, they pump about 1,500 gallons an hour. So, and we have two of them on each one. Boom. Plug this thing in. And now we're gonna be organizing everything. If you look closely, we got 
one of the flows pushing up and then one pushing down. So I'm gonna do this one pushing up and this one pushing down like that. And it should start kicking all that stuff. It is right now. It's gonna push all that stuff and then it's the filter is gonna suck it up. So yeah, as you can see, we got a lot of flow. It's kicking up all that stuff and you can already see the bottom is getting clear. So once we get it all, look, I mean, there's a big difference. We just gotta get that stuff. And I also ordered a vacuum. It's an underwater vacuum that sucks out all the poop and stuff. There's a lot of big changes coming to this pool pond. It's gonna look absolutely crazy. But we got a flow maker here and then you can kind of, you, you can see the flow on top and then we got one facing down, pushing it towards the cave. Same over here. We got one on top, one pushing down, pushing that stuff all towards that pump to suck up and go in our filter over there. All right, now I am putting the new pump in for now just until we set up our new pool pond and reorganize everything. So this is a much better pump. This is a salt water pump. So it's gonna do very good. Put this tubing on, plug her in. This one actually has a little remote on it too to control the speed of water you want. We're leaving it at about 30 watts for right now. That should be 20. Now he's ready to go in. And how we're gonna do this is we're gonna net him. This is the best way possible. Scoop him up. Let's get a close up on him real quick. Look at how pretty that eel is. Wow. All right, here he goes. Oh, ready? Oh, he's swimming around. Never seen that. Oh, oh, and into a hole he goes. <laughs> Probably see his head pop out here. Well, our eel is in the pond and we'll be definitely getting more shots of him once he's out and comfortable with it. That's such a dope fish for the new pond or eel, whatever you want to call him. Just by these few little upgrades, the pond already looks better. Like I said, we're sanding the whole bottom, putting mats under the rocks like you guys recommended. I ordered everything you guys told me to order, so trust me, I'm not letting you guys down. We got some flow makers, we got a new pump that pumps crazy amount of water in here. And then I'm gonna get a PVC piping that connects to here and runs across here. And then it's gonna have little holes to where it just shoots out jets of little water. So it's flowing this, oh! It's oh, no, eagle. that's that's the other eel. Yeah, no, it, it scared him. He scared him? Yes. He I mean, he kicked him out of his home. He, he took his home from him. So, I mean, a lot of the fish like that cave over there. They don't really use this one much often, but they have it. So there's no need to fight over places. There's plenty of places to hide. He can always go into this one right here. But yeah, that is one of our eels. Anyways, guys, that is all we got for you today. Huge shout out to my boy Orlando for helping me out with today's video. If you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, it will be down in the description below. Go check him out. He does a bunch of fishing. So if you guys love fishing, this is definitely the channel to go watch. But like I said, we got a new Tessalata eel for our pool pond. We have some big things coming on this channel. It's going to be absolutely crazy. I promise you guys, I am not letting you down. I'm going all in. 2020, it's gonna be a crazy year. We're gonna be putting out some crazy videos, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and name for our new eel, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya!